together. Glad to help Rob. Yeah, to truly answer that question, we have to go way back. Let's have a look at the timeline for Brock over his time with the Broncos. We go all the way back to March 9th of 2016. That's when he signs with the Texans and doesn't allow the Broncos to sign him as their starting quarterback. And well, that worked out pretty well because just a year later, Texans trade him to the Browns after playing just horribly in Houston. And then after that, the Browns release him on September 1st, a team that hasn't even won a game this year. And the Broncos sign him. They bring him back on September 4th. And that leads us up to November 1st. Starting quarterback for the Broncos. It's hard to believe it, but that's where we stand.